I hear a patter of footsteps upon leaving the house. Just like yesterday. Isuzu sees me and runs over. She stops and gives a quiet greeting, all the while examining my expression. Good morning, Isuzu. Upon returning my greeting, Isuzu's expression turns into a smile. Isuzu strikes up a conversation. Just like yesterday, I had resolved to avoid the topic. You're right, the weather is great. Yeah, definitely. Normally, Isuzu would never say things like that. A flawless smile. She's forcing that smile on. A mere facade. She doesn't want to be despised. She doesn't want to be separated. That's what she's thinking. She's sincerely conveying that. It feels as if I don't deserve this. I want to embrace Isuzu and make her mine, to thank her for falling in love with me. However, I can't do that yet. I'm not the only one in her heart. I'm not the only one that Isuzu likes. What? Sorry. Isuzu's face turns tense. I can't turn up to club activities. I'm busy after school and tonight too. Her stiffened expression fills with panic. A voice so soft it feels like it's going to get dispersed by the wind. No, that's not it. I'm saying this confidently. Sorry. They sound like clear words of rejection. Isuzu shuts her eyes tight. Tears flow down. Tears form a stream down her cheeks. She's weak. Who was the first one to say that Isuzu was like a small animal? The current Isuzu is just like that. Up until now, Isuzu has insisted on erecting a wall between others. As soon as that wall crumbled, she had no means of protecting herself. She can't protect her defenseless heart. She is unable to reconstruct it. That's why her old wounds become deeper. Isuzu points her tear-filled face away. Isuzu walks up the hill without looking back. Is someone like me who is unable to chase after her worthy of being called her lover? Hey, Chinami. I'm also at my limits here. Will it really work out between the two of us? What do you say, Chinami? If it doesn't work out, I'm not telling you off with just grinding your temples. Suzuha immediately inquires me as I return to the living room from my bedroom. She's in her room, she'll be down soon. That's right. It seems that Suzuha is worried. Apart from school and dinner, we've been shutting ourselves in our rooms all day. Suzuha-chan also helped out, didn't you? Suzuha tilts her head in puzzlement. We gathered them up that night, didn't we? It seems that she immediately grasps what I'm talking about. That wasn't all. Chinami and I are spending a little time on it. She's right, we've been spending our free time on this for three days now. Don't tell Isuzu, okay? 
ちゃんすごく元気なくって。I'm aware that Isuzu is pushing herself. That's how much th、uh, she thinks of us. Much more than what Shinami and I value her. If I had realized this sooner, we might have resorted to a different approach. However, it's too late to turn back. Please wait for us just a little while longer. I pray towards Suzuha and then up at the ceiling. At the sleep deprived Shinami, who is in her room upstairs. I want to have everyone sitting at the dinner table again. There's no school tomorrow, so I'm not concerned about Shinami sleeping in. She can work all night. There's no need to sleep until we finish. I want us to return to our normal lives as soon as possible. It's Saturday. <laughs> Who's talking here? Who's talking here? Who was that? I feel like I heard that voice before. After waking up with a start, I first check the time. The clock shows four in the morning. It's still dark outside, but the date has changed. It seems that I fell asleep while working. I've been having close to no sleep for the last three days. Fatigue is certainly a factor, but I feel all the more weary since there is no school. We are not done yet. The contents spread across my desk tell me just that. Something falls from my shoulder as I reach out my hands to continue work. My jacket, the one I wear outside. Was I wearing this when I came to Chinami's room? Chinami, nemo nemo ja nai kara. Kanmaru ne. You're totally sleepy. With her eyes forming a line, Shinami waves her hands around with the intent of getting back to work. You normally sleep for 10 hours, don't you? Isn't that a bit too much? Yet she's working on this with me with these irregular sleeping patterns. I carry Shinami and lay her on the bed. I push the blanket into her hands, which we are still fumbling around. Well then, as I'm about to get started again, I notice a figure. Yes, I'm surprised, as if I've seen a ghost. What? What? Who's that? The Twin Tails! And it looks like she has a scythe. Is she a Shinigami as well? Like Mare? Who is she? How long has she been here? The girl stands beside me. Holding a large scythe that seems out of place with her stature, she looks at me unconcernedly. Contrary to her childish appearance, her tone is composed and her speech is mature. I don't know who she is, but the first person that comes to mind is Mare. This isn't Mare. The way they pretend to be mature is similar, and above all, they both possess a scythe. She indicates to me that she's a Grim Reaper. As I'm about to say something, I notice movement from the corner of my eye. She gets out of bed like a zombie. The mysterious girl pokes Chinami's forehead with the handle of her scythe. Chinami falls back into bed with a thump. What are you doing? Why? Chinami doesn't appear to be moving. She's completely knocked out. Who are you? The girl keeps her smile. Are you a Grim Reaper? Who is Musume Boshi? Musume Boshi. A dream? 
私との出会いは夢だと思うだろうということです。Which means that this isn't actually a dream? だから深く考える必要はないんです。Is she trying to avoid the topic? So, who are you? 名前を聞いているんですか There's more that I want to ask, but I'll start with that. Ben, yes. Ben, huh? Ben. Chinami ni kime des. That's what Chinami calls you? Just like Mare. Namai wa. Fulsato ni oite kimashita kara. Say, are you and Mare sisters or something? Anoko ni wa ototo ga imas kedo. Anoko jishin wa wasrete iru to omoimas. Mare has a younger brother? Nagatabi de. What are you talking about? For some reason, I'm not too comprehending what she's saying anymore. I'm understanding less and less. Don't worry. I wonder if it's the same person、uh, Mayor made a promise with. Even if you tell me that. If I can't understand, then I'll just say I'm sorry. The guardian spirit. Before, I kept telling myself that if I passed the test, I would be given a gold star. But I didn't do it because I was trying to avoid the test. The guardian spirit. I kept telling myself that if I passed the test, I would be given a gold star. But I didn't do it because I was trying to avoid it. You pervert! <laughs> hey, that's a tasteless hobby to have. A sugar coating it isn't going to、uh, isn't going to change the fact that it's bad. Just who are you calling a lost cause? Are you picking a fight with me? Chinami san ga suki na kimi da kara, kore ijo wa hikaimas. Sono suki ga koi janai no ga zannen desu kedo. You sure about that? I'll say this in advance, but Isuzu is the one I love. Hai. Wakatte imas. While her smile hasn't changed, it feels more profound. Kimi to Isuzu san no koto ouen shimasu yo. That's nice of you. Suddenly, the starlight coming through the curtains dims, and the Grim Reaper called Eren disappears from my vision. Talk about mysterious encounters. Even her method of exit is similar to Mare's. I take a look around the room, and much to my expectations, I don't find Eren anywhere. Giving up, I get back to work. The reason that I haven't given in to my sleepiness, despite the sky becoming brighter, wasn't due to my meeting with Eren. I simply want to have Isuzu smile back as soon as possible. Chinami causes a fuss as soon as she wakes up. Chinami, it's no matter how much I try, the work is slowing down. This is probably the Yosei who helped me with the plan. Can't you see that I'm the one doing it right now? Well, there was a fairy here. Nope, I lied. I stand on my tiptoes, rotate my arms around, and loosen my stiff shoulders. Chinami, go wash your face. I'll make breakfast. I want to get this done by the end of the day. 
The end is finally in sight. 